Hello everyone, this is Ether Dragon, and welcome back to another episode of Fire Emblem Heroes. So here we have this cav line here, quite not invested. This would actually be much more difficult if it was a max invested team, aka like plus 10 roll for example. Um, so how it's looking right now, I see there's no rallies or anything, there's infantry school and whatnot. I technically could set up a hyper aggressive bait um, with Nino against these two and we would likely do okay but we're gonna go for an alternate strategy here not really planning things out too much because I don't really care uh, I think the main thing will be just this side over here rushing my heirs which is going to be the main problem I believe so we're going to start out by doing a generic turn one bait on this Rolf. And again, I say this, this would work really well if it was max invested because with this he has um, plus 10 speed, so that's 56. And there's chill speed and bright shrine on the team. Of course, we don't care about any of that, so we're just going to face tank the chill speed. So he has 56 speed here, and Nino's going to top out here at 69 speed, thanks to, um, whatchamacallit, Caden and Peony. So after chill speed at 62, so we double and kill. Uh, that's very straightforward. Nothing much there. It's uh, definitely quite solid for slower units, but of course stuff like Quick Repose still destroys this roll. Uh, unfortunately, this Olwen is also going to be getting the Fort Cav buff, and so one-shotting her is way out of the question for air for my heirs without Caden around, and there is a level 6 Panic Manor, so we can't really afford to deal with that. So let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna flip Nino over, or flip Caden over here, and that's our setup there. And now the big question is whether I want to, which air I want to put where. That sounds very odd, but um, I'm thinking we just do this. This will maintain some sort of field buffs on Nino, which will be helpful probably going into the next round, especially against the Silk. Uh, there's. We actually can technically one-shot that, but uh, it's it's kind of a stretch. So we're gonna do this and hit and turn here. Very straightforward. Um, Rolf's doing nothing, and we barely double there. And here comes the here comes the dreaded folks here. This is the main threat. Zelk is not too big of a threat here. Of course, we don't one-shot that, so that's a problem. Another big problem is pivoting around. There's a lot of things that could go wrong here. I think the biggest thing though is Silk is just too slow. We also don't have to pick up the ether structures. I imagine it would not be terribly difficult since we were basically forced to do a turn one bait. And of course Nino is not affected by tactics room here. So um, like for example here, even if we max debuffed Caden with Panic Manor, he still has 34 speed and way more than 46 res bulk, so <laughs> uh, we should be fine in that respect. So it's mostly the matchups here we're concerned with. I'm thinking, so if we put air here, I guess Peony's the main concern then. Why does she have minus five here? Is that that's probably from Chaos named. So, um. Yeah, as long as she doesn't get doubled, and she still doubles at this stage, so that seems okay. And since uh, no one can counter her Wings of Mercy never procs, so we don't have to worry about that at all. That's kind of nice. Of course, there's Panic Manor here, so that's going to hurt everybody. <laughs> um, as is, oops, can we pick up the kill against Olwyn using one of these airs? This is where putting this error here might have been better uh, because then we pick up the natural double and we don't do we get one shot here I don't think we get we don't get one shot there so that would be a thing 
So I'm thinking right now, if so we could put air here. We repo with Kaden. You know, easily one round KOs there, that there's no question about that. And then I'm pretty sure we can just pivot Nino with a dance and uh, with and just easily one shot this Olwen. I think that's the big, that's the standard play to make here because we have aerobatics on Peony, so I think that just works. Uh, in that case, I may want to start setting up the glimmer of life. a stronger position, like for the Southus and company incoming. I think I always break this with yes, this air. Yes. There's almost no reason to not break that, correct? Yeah. So we can do this. That's pretty straightforward. Um... I think we just place this air here. There's really no reason to put her here um, because Panic's not ever going to it. She's not going to get, ever get attacked by Panic or attacked by Silk here. It's always going to be like Peony. Also, Kaden has drive speed, so I, I don't see how we lose a unit here unless we super goof. Which I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't really calc this through, but uh, it should be fine. Nino is way faster than Olwen and can't get one shot here, so uh, Kaden's gonna get debuffed severely, but Nino is out of the way, so that's fine. And yes, we do see the panic there. Uh, so this is going somewhere, I don't know where. Panic Manor, so now Wings of Mercy is active, that is something we need to keep into consideration. But I think we can just manipulate that to our advantage anyways, so I yes. think we're okay there. Uh, we just do this, for example. And uh, we can just go ahead and do something like this. And you can see, regardless of where, if so, this moves this way, we just get the Wings of Mercy kill. So it should be fine. But uh, we don't see that. So we can just go ahead and Pick up the ether structures. They don't have vantage on this so this is just wings of mercy. So we do not have to be concerned about that at all here. Lovely. Let's go ahead and do this. This is fine. Um We're just trying to go for the troll BM where we uh just do not care whatsoever about their traps and never activate them. The so this is going after Nino, but we can just pick up the kill like so. So, yep, so we can just go ahead and uh, do this, just because we can, and pick up the kill there. Quite, quite a straightforward match there because that Rolf was not maxed. If he was maxed, he would not have been able to get doubled by Nino there, because I believe even if I broke Tactics Room, I still would have had four stru five structures up. I could be wrong there, but um, yeah, we're not going to be top 1k. It just, it just looks like we're going to be top 1k because uh, folks do it toward, do their runs towards the end of the season. And I also uh, goofed a match. I'll talk about that in the replays video. But until then, thanks for watching. As always, this is Ether Dragon, and hope to see you all next time. Bye.